sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a very special Week 7 breakdown between the San Francisco 49ers heading to Denver to take on the defending AFC champions, Denver Broncos. Before I get right into that, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so you can get all the updates for football season. Now let's hop right into it. The San Francisco 49ers come into this football game after a pretty good win on Monday Night Football against the St. Louis Rams. Now you're looking at the 49ers being a formidable foe to possibly anybody in the NFL because of that physical style of run uh, that they do, the physicality as far as run blocking, the defense being very physical with hard hitters on that side of the ball. Then you go to the Denver Broncos. They're being more of a finesse team. The defense does have a little bit more attitude with the Keep Tlaib and DeMarcus Ware, things like that. But one of the things that concerned me last week, Patrick Peterson, uh, excuse me, not Patrick, Patrick Willis, excuse me, uh, went out with a toe injury towards the latter part of the football game against the Rams, and that really got my attention because he is uh, Patrick Willis, the quarterback of the defense, and he does call a lot of the plays, if you will. Harbaugh trusts him like no other defensive player on that uh, defense. So you're looking at the quarterback matchup, Peyton Manning versus Patrick Willis, and how will that play out? And if you have a toe injury, you cannot really play effective against a Peyton Manning offense because the ball gets out of his hands very quickly. You're looking at Colin Cowboy. Kaepernick on the other side of the uh, football, and and he has to play pretty mistake free because if you give Peyton Manning mistakes, if you give him turnovers, if you give him ample opportunities to to go up and down the field, you're looking at how Thomas, the tight end, and you you got Bebe Thomas, the wide receiver, how they can exploit you because both of those guys are on record paces to break records. You're looking at Peyton Manning wanting to up and go ahead and beat. Brett Favre's record and extended even further against the 49ers. And you want to look at how Denver obviously has a, a little bit of an advantage playing in the mile high city of Denver. So you're looking at just the crowd being there. You're looking at the atmosphere, them being above sea level and things like that. And, and the 49ers like to play anybody, anywhere, anytime. But when you're coming to Peyton's house, you have to realize there's going to be a certain uh, discipline needed on defense in order to, to throw off his mechanics. There's going to be an, a certain amount of, of of discipline needed in order to stay in your rush lane, staying staying in, in on your man. Because Peyton Manning is not going to beat you with his legs at this point in time, him being almost 40 years old. I like Peyton Manning to dissect a lot of these matchups because they, they likely won't have Alden Smith. You likely won't have a healthy Patrick Willis. So you just have to think about some of the things that are going to be going back and forth in this chess match. And I like the Broncos offense better than I do the 49ers defense at this point, even though the 49ers are hot right now. You have to look at the Denver Broncos being in full control. They're going to control this tempo with possibly running the football. And that's going to throw off the 49ers a little bit because Peyton Manning and company, they may throw to get the lead and run the ball to close the game. I feel like they can do it with the backups that they have. And you have to look at Denver wanting Peyton Manning not to take a lot of big hits. They're going to try to put this game away very quickly, very easily. I don't think it'll be easy, but... At the end of the day, I have to go with the Denver Broncos winning in a very close football game. I think that this football game could come out 24-30 to 30 with Denver Broncos winning this one in the Mile High City on a fantastic week of football to wrap up for Week 7 as far as the Sunday games go. Um, I'm picking the Broncos because I like their offense. I feel like Aqib Tlaib, DeMarcus Ware, Von Miller, those guys can really generate the defensive pressure that you need in order to create turnovers against Colin Kaepernick. And they'll limit his running lanes. They'll limit where he can actually run to and how he can just take off like he does against so many NFL teams because he is gifted with the arm and with the leg. He is one of the most dynamic dual threat quarterbacks we have in the NFL today. So I'm picking the Broncos because of those things. And uh, I want to know what you Broncos and 49ers fans think. Go ahead and comment in the comment section below and check us out. JustMyPicks.com each and every week for all the breaking news, all the hot stories in the NFL. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV for all the updates on NFL and all the great videos that we have at JustMyPicks.com. Also, don't forget, share this video in your sports group so we can debate with you and your sports friends each and every day. Thank you so very much. We'll be back with Week 8 next week.